So I'm just an idiotic, stupid dog. And because our views have tanked, I mean, we had a couple, whatever you would say, after a couple flourishes where we, we did pretty good, we, we, all of a sudden we put like a string of 100s together. We had a 400 in there. We haven't really had no major jackpots. We really haven't. And now we're right back down to like the, the teens and the 30s. You know, we're down sometimes into the single digits. So we're trying to branch out. The producers come back on the scene a little bit more he says listen we can't keep doing the same old you know podcast things like joe rogan or sam gillis so i said all right what do you want from me you're the one who tells me what to do you're the one who provides this stuff he says i know here's a new one we're gonna do the bitch the bitches or something the bitch podcast i said all right fine so i start watching this bitch podcast starring sarah weinshank and Kim Condon. I wonder if she's like related to that fat guy who finally left CBS. I don't know, from the late show. The funny thing is Kim looks like the Jewish one, but Sarah sounds like the Jewish one. Is that, why does that even matter? You know, don't point out the thing like they're Jewish. Maybe neither one of them are Jewish, or probably it could be that both of them are Jewish. I don't know. But but the producer, he was coaching me up saying, you want to do three probing questions just make three piercing questions that you give a lot of thought to and that really uh, illuminate your perception or you know show a window into your mind of what you think about the the bitches podcast and I looked at him I was like you know dogs don't really have piercing questions dogs don't are not really what you would say contemplative dogs are a lot more stream of consciousness they say whatever pops into their heads they have pea brains they're not really you know they're not walking around einstein's here and the producer said that's the problem it's too stream of consciousness plus you have an old reference you are an old dog even though you've been here for just 16 years but in your dog remembrance you remember things that no one else even remembers today no one knows a lot of the references you're coming up with so you need to concentrate and not go stream of conscious but have more probing questions so i said all right that's what i'll do and on the my list of piercing probing questions the one thing i was going to say is is sarah a practicing jew and again why go there why even bother it's just you know that's that's not that's not piercing i mean you're making it's the only thing you can grasp on that's the only thing that's clicking in your mind is <laughs> oh my goodness so Anyway, I'll say one thing about it. These two honeys, they got energy, you know? I mean, it makes me guess, you know, how old are these girls? Because I can't put my finger up. But then I said, why why do I care? You know, why is age so definitive to me when I'm trying to, uh, whatever you would say, you know, take in the nuance of a woman, when I'm trying to understand a woman or gauge her, whatever it is, how come, you know, I got to go there? Why do I have to say, yeah, I'd like to experience this woman, these two women together. I'd like to know what they're all about. But first, I got to know how old they are. Explain that one to me. I don't know. Whatever. But that brings me to the second burning question that I came up with about the bitches podcast, which is, are these girls wearing veneers? Because their teeth are so white and they're so perfect. They dominate their face. I can't take my eyes off their chompers. I mean, are these girls wearing veneers? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll tell you, what separates the bitches podcast from all other podcasts? And the answer is nothing. That's just the way it is. If this was the lad, if they never did another podcast on the earth, It wouldn't even matter. All they would have to do is just recycle all the old podcasts and no one would ever know the difference. That's just me, though. You know, I have whatever you would say a prejudice against podcasts. They seem like they're just simply too boring. They don't go anywhere. And it's just people sitting around talking about shit that's not particularly interesting. I don't even think they think it's particularly interesting. But that brings me to my third uh, piercing, wonderful question. Are these two gay lovers 
And why again? Why is that so definitive? Why is it even I would go there? It doesn't seem like they are. You know, you wouldn't assume they are. That's too pat. You know, why is that with along with age so definitive to my understanding of women? I'm a dog, so it doesn't even really matter. I mean, I'm not getting with any women. My balls have been lopped off, so I'm not even getting any with, you know, female canines. So whatever, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I was just curious because they drop a lot of innuendo you know what i'm saying they have a lot of hints and i was wondering why do they do that because they don't really come off as gay lovers maybe they are gay lovers but with so many hints i was thinking are they gay lovers and i couldn't figure it out but then i realized you know what sex sells and the other thing i was thinking was are these two bitches or are they hoes and i said why do you even say that you shouldn't say that They're not whores. You know, maybe they're prostituting themselves. They're not prostituting themselves. They're very mildly selling the sex. You know, they're very mildly, you know, pretending that they're gay lovers. It's just a thing that, you know, they got to do it. It's so sad in this Me Too, post Me Too movement era where these women are actually professionals. They're really awesome. You know, you'd love to hook up with one of them. You'd love to be with one of them. They're so interesting and they're so great, but they're still just like a jeans commercial or, you know, a car commercial or a beer commercial, there's or a football commercial. They got they selling it with the women's sex aside, you know. And I'm thinking, I wonder, you know, why? Why my brain even goes there? Maybe that's not what the girls doing. Maybe they're just naturally sexy. Maybe they just exude this natural sex. Maybe it's not a thought process that they're going through. Maybe it's not something they're doing consciously. But then I thought to myself, ah, it's. It's probably okay that I pose that question. I should have used a different word than whore. They're not whores. They're, they might be whoring themselves a little. But I, the reason I said it's okay, what justifies it is that they mentioned the fact that they were in Austin 71 times during the podcast. Hey, listen, Austin, <laughs> you're, you're playing up Austin a little bit too much. I mean, the coolest dust bowl that God cre- ever created, whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, we, they were talking about how they were drinking, having sex, and having such a wild time in Austin. Don't be so proud that you came from Austin or you were in Austin. There's a few other places on the earth that are a little bit better than Austin or even a bit, little bit better to spend some time. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to shoot. No, I'm, I'm, it's wrong of me. The whole thing is wrong of me. But you didn't need to mention that many times, whatever. My experience with this podcast was the same as my experience with all the other podcasts that I've watched. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'm too old to figure out what's going on. And it's just like a cheaper, stinkier, slower, less exciting, less interesting version of a soap opera. Like the days of our lives. People standing around and talking, whatever, it's okay.